Hello and happy New Year's Eve. Thank you so much for joining us for the final 10 Weather Impact Show for 2025. I know. Happy New Year's happy Eve. Happy New Year's Eve. We can't believe it's finally here. What a morning we had. I know. Snow, the roads were rough, some of that icy drizzle you were talking about. Yeah. And then as you've, you've been predicting, more snow on the way. Exactly. So as we head into the second half of the day, very important to follow the weather impact forecast. Uh, are you excited for the year to be over finally? I am. I'm really looking forward to 2026. I already feel really good positive energy Me about too. it, so I'm looking forward to it. Well, we hope you are as well. The forecast uh, not as positive as we watched uh, want. Let's start off with these weather impact headlines for us. Uh, we did have a little bit of wind earlier this week. Still some of that wind sticking with us, but now we do focus on the good travel time, which will be between noon and 4 p.m. And I say that because if you are heading out for the Buckeyes watch parties tonight for New Year's Eve plans, just letting you know you want to get that travel done earlier before the snow is paired with the cold and the wind as we go into this evening. But there is a light at the end of the tunnel with some milder areas in our forecast. But as we take a look at the next three days, you have our 10 weather impact for the second half of today. And then we will see the conditions drier, but still pretty cold as we go into your Thursday and then also into your Friday. All right, so let's get to focusing in on what we've seen and where we're going. Now, earlier this morning, we did have a little bit of patchy freezing drizzle. We had some snow overnight. We got some places that measured about around an inch for average. But then as we go into tonight, as you can see, we do have some snow in the forecast. And that's why we issue that 10 weather impact, especially if you're going to be outdoors for long periods of time, because that will be paired with the wind. As as I take you through the hour by hour forecast into the evening. You can see those wind gusts could get upwards of 20 to 30 to maybe even 40 miles per hour after the sun sets. So if we do have snow, you could have blowing snow. But the other thing about this is it's already going to be cold in the 20s. So with gusts like this, you are going to have a wind chill that brings you into the teens and maybe even to the single digits before the clock strikes 12. Here's the midnight wind forecast. So you are going to have those breezy winds. So again, just keep that in mind for everything that I did just mentioned and then as we move forward and we go into New Year's Day we will still be starting off some wind so there will be a little bit of a wind chill as you get the morning going and then those winds will start to die down just a little bit so what about the snow forecast I do want to get to that for you right now so let's start off as we go into the four o'clock hour so as I was mentioning here's a couple of things we are going to see those conditions stay on the quieter side for the next several hours until we get to about four or five o'clock our next storm system is dipping down, but unlike the typical ones that come from west to east, this one is coming from the north and it's going to be moving from north to south. So if you have our 10 TV plus app on your TV or on your phone, if you don't, it's free and you should download it because it's a great tool. You can actually pull up the 10 TV weather impact radar and you can watch as the snow starts to move in and you'll know again it's moving from north to south as you can see here on the hour by hour forecast. Here's five o'clock. It does look like if we stay on this current track, we'd start to see some snow kick going from Mount Vernon up to Mansfield, Bucyrus, Kenton and Bell Fountain by five. The snow continues to push to the south, so about 6 o'clock could see some of that move to Cambridge, Zanesville, right along the I-70 corridor into the north. Also out to the west, Urbana, Springfield, and Marysville through Columbus as we go between 6 and 7. This is going to be more of that lighter snow to start. Now, when you do start to see some of these blues on your screen, that's always an indication that we are looking at seeing a little bit more intensity. And as we go into 8 o'clock, you do start to notice to the north a little bit more of an intense line here. Now this is what I'm concerned about. If you're going to be out driving home after the Buckeyes watch parties, or maybe you are getting to your New Year's Eve travel plans. If this holds together, whenever we see this on the hour by hour forecast, that indicates powerful wind gusts paired with intense snow bands. So just letting you know, I'm hoping this doesn't happen, but if it does stay on this track, by 10 o'clock we could see it push from Mansfield down to Mount Vernon, over to Delaware, Marysville, and then eventually going through Powell, Dublin, Plain City, and into Columbus, Newark, Coshocton, and Springfield by 11 o'clock. 
As the clock strikes 12, this continues to move down to the south, and it does look like it'll bring impacts between 11 and 12 to Cambridge, Zanesville, New Lexington, Lancaster, further off to the west, places like Circleville and Washington Courthouse, eventually moving into Chillicothe, MacArthur, Athens, McConnellsville, and Caldwell as we go into the 1 o'clock hour. But one thing you'll notice behind it, we are much quieter. So we're still going to have the breezy winds, but the snow will start to end from north to south. Eventually by Thursday morning on New Year's Day pushing out of here, we'll likely see some sunshine earlier in the day, but don't let that fool you. It is going to be pretty cold for us. And then as we head into the second half of the day, we are going to have some more clouds that push in, maybe a few flurries or some light snow showers, but I'm not anticipating a lot of anything except cold clouds moving in. And then because of the wind, as I showed you, even if it's a little bit of wind, you're still going to have that wind chill in the forecast. Now, if you want warmer weather, everyone's been asking me, okay, it's just been so cold. So what can we expect as we move forward and we go into the first week, a couple weeks that is of our temperature forecast? Well, it does look like warmer weather will build back in, and especially as we head into mid-January. As far as precip goes, it's about average, but average high for us is in the upper 30s to low 40s. So just to give you an idea, if we do see that happen, we are going to be looking at seeing rain versus snow. So for New Year's Day, again, we are looking at partly cloudy skies, starting off with a little bit more sun early. And then as we head into the afternoon, we get into the upper 20s. Winds will be about in the northwest, so they start to die back down for us. But the cold air are going to be the main story. Now we can focus in on the seven day forecast and you're going to see that we do have that time weather impact. Again, we had it for this morning. Now it goes into later today and then we're going to be dealing with seeing the cold air linger for us as we go into Thursday, as we go into Friday, even into Saturday. Wake up temperatures will be in the teens, but with any wind we will feel like we're in the single digits. And then as we look ahead, as we start to get into Monday and Tuesday, that's when we're going to be seeing those temperatures finally start to rebound back upwards. We'll be into the low 40s Monday and Tuesday. And as of right now, just looking ahead, it does look like Tuesday could be our chances to see some more rain in the forecast. And if it's at night, there's a chance it might be a little bit more of snow or a wintry mix. But with the 40s in the afternoon, if it's the second half of the day, uh, that could look to be more on the rainy side. So this is the forecast as we close out 2025 and go into 2026. Again, I can't stress tonight, Bryn, you definitely want to be safe. On the roads mm -hmm. and check what the weather is doing first, especially if you're leaving after a Buckeyes watch party, because as you saw, once that big band comes through, it clears up behind it. So if you have to delay another hour, maybe do so. You don't want to be caught outside in the dark with stuff like that. Absolutely. And use ride sharing services as right. well. If you are maybe thinking about having a couple beverages, just be safe. Yes. It's the most important thing during in the new year. Yes. Well, we also, as you know, like to have these videos. We want to check out some new ones that are into us here at 10 TV. Yeah, now check this one out. This is the scene out of Buffalo, New York, where a car became Ooh. frozen over inside and out, deemed a stolen vehicle. It was parked with the windows down and became covered with snow and ice. That looks like a scene out of Frozen or like some winter Jack Frost takes over. Movie. Look at the wheel. I know. Oh my goodness. Uh, I don't what what's the end story for that vehicle? Will it fall out eventually? Will it run again? I don't know. Who knows? I might just go and I think go it to might be lot. frozen in time. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, from the ice and snow locally to how about heat and lava? Okay, this that sounds actually, way better than this. I know, I feel much warmer already. <laughs> this was the scene at the Kilauea volcano last week in Hawaii. Now, the volcano has actually been experiencing regular episodes. You may uh -huh. not realize it like this over the past several weeks. Good news, the volcano posed no danger with this eruption, but it certainly makes for some dramatic Feisty video. Feisty this year. I know. Now, the lava fountain that you see, get this, it has reached more than 500 feet up in the air. Wow. Oh and then gosh. I think what goes up has to come down. I know. I wouldn't want to be anywhere near that thing. No. Scary. No, 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 no. That's why there's <laughs> drones and other ways to get video. But well, Hawaii um, sure does sound nice. Oh. I'm mentally there. I'm not in this cold, snowy weather. I think everybody is. <laughs> it's definitely been a, a cold end to the year. So I think those 40s are going to feel so nice. Not as good as the 60s last weekend. I know. We were wearing shorts we just were. sitting on the patio. 
Yes. Relaxing. It's so nice. Mm -hmm. The 40s will be a treat for sure this weekend. Absolutely. And you know, we are always appreciative that you join us here on 10 TV. You know, 10 TV Plus is great as well. And don't forget, you can watch us online, on air. We will have more this evening. Happy New Year from us both. Happy New Year.